Hi guys! Today we have an unfortunate video that we have to make. We've been really pushing this video off for a while now. For over a month now. So it's finally time to share the news that unfortunately Shadow um, is going to be leaving the family. <sighs> it's definitely not like a situation that we anticipated or expected was going to happen when we made the decision to keep him as well as Moon. Um, but I mean at this point it's like out of, out of our control and it's just become a massive issue that we needed to handle and this is how we're choosing to do it. Yeah. And we hope you guys understand. He has been such an amazing part of the family but... And such a sweet dog and such a good boy and has been like such a big part of my mom's life as well. There is like major, major behavioral issues between Moon and Shadow. Yeah. And it actually didn't come to my attention until one of you guys left a comment on the last video that I actually posted on my vlog channel, um, which was probably a month and a half ago. I, I mentioned that they were fighting a lot and someone said they might have littermate syndrome. I looked up what littermate syndrome is, and basically, when you keep two dogs from the same litter, there is a chance that they could get something called littermate syndrome, which basically means that they could either like be completely bonded and love each other to the extent that they don't bond with the owner, or they could fight intensely with each other. Joey didn't even notice it a few times, but I had to handle, I literally had to pull the dogs off each other they were fighting like I've Moon never and, seen. Moon and Shadow. Moon and Shadow, yeah. Um, so we kept them separate after that point um, as much as possible yeah. until we could figure out a solution. And then the final straw was when I, I witnessed it. Yeah, it happened when um, I let Shadow inside for a second and Moon was inside. Because you just came home from a hike. Yeah, I just went on a I hike so all the dogs were a little pent Yeah, up. and I was like, whoa, 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 like Moon's in here. Um, and I knew that there could be a fight that happened, but they were, I think, Shadow was super tired from the yeah. hike, and um, I was like, all right, mate, they're acting kind of chill around each other. <sighs> and then, honestly, one of the most traumatic things that I've experienced in a while happened, and uh, they went at each other so intensely that I, legitimately thought that one of them was going to die. And it was... you, like, he literally sat down and started crying. Like, you kind of had a breakdown about it. Yeah, it was the mo It was so terrifying because... I don't know if you guys have ever witnessed, like, a dog attack. They lock on so hard, and there's no nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. It's like, they go into this rage of, like... It's not even them. It's literally like something inside an of it. It's an instinct to, you know, beat the other one or to kill the other one. It's like what happens in the wild with actual yeah. wolves. Shadow was latched onto Moon's neck and like Moon was squealing and Moon was fighting back and hurting Shadow. I was kicking their butts. I was screaming at them, doing anything that I could to separate them. They were latched on that intensely. Like, the fear that I felt was something that I never want to feel again with my dogs. Like, I just felt so helpless. And it got to the point where I could fit, like, I could actually hear Moon's skin ripping as Shadow was fur, yeah. literally pulling on his back scruff. Yep. Like, it was the most disturbing sound I think I've ever heard. And I, I genuinely thought that I was going to witness one of the dogs die then and there. And it was in that moment that I, I made the decision that this can't continue. If we keep them together with their adult teeth now and they're getting bigger, they're both like over 50 pounds, we don't know if we're gonna come home one day and one of the dogs is gonna be dead or or if they attack someone else because somebody gets in their way. It's just like, yeah. it's also not fair to the dogs that we have. It's a lot of stress for all of them and us and it put like a lot of stress on our relationship. Joey yeah. was al always like, super tense and I was a little more chill because like I was trying to handle everything but and so obviously we knew that we had to make a decision on one of the dogs had to go mm -hmm. um and that I think was the biggest debate that we had I mean we were open to both we were honestly oh, like we were actually calling people like our friends to be like yeah. hey can you take 
moon. Like yeah. it wasn't like favoring our dog over that. Like no. I texted Stacy, I was like, Stacy, like I would trust you out of everyone. It's not a fair situation all around, but also we, we laid out all the options. We presented them to my mom. Yeah. yeah. Maria lives here. She, we gave shout out to her as a gift. So, but he's still our responsibility. But like Partly. we were, we didn't want to retract the gift that we gave her. Yeah. So we had to talk to her and kind of just explain it as like, we don't want to have to do this. It's just something that we can't change. But what we can change is make sure that he is now going to a home that is safe for him and safe for others. And he can have like quality of life. So yes, Daniel found him a home. Yeah. Um, it's one of your friends. Yeah. My friend Max and Tyler, they're amazing. And they have a beautiful home and a beautiful yard. Chato loves to be outside and play. He literally plays by himself. He's so sweet. And he really is going to the best possible family. I've known him for a long time. He's going to have a happy life. It's just not going to be with us, unfortunately. Yeah. But I do want Maria to talk about how she's feeling about this because this is, she's part of this. Like, it, I don't want it to come across as we're, we're forcing this no. or anything. Like, she's a part of this decision just as much as we are. I hope you guys understand. I've been terrified to film this video because I've been so afraid of, like, the judgment of, like, what people are going to think because give, getting rid of a dog that you committed to, it just, like, it hurts. And I, I can just imagine the judgment, but it's really a situation out of our control, like... I mean, if had these behavioral issues not happened, I mean, we've also went to a trainer, we've had so much input from other people who have had the same situation. It's way beyond our control, and we're truly making the best decision... For Shadow. For Shadow, and for the situation, so, you know, everybody can be happy, and yeah. healthy, and, like, live a good life. So, it's not an easy decision, no, it's but not. it's a decision that needs to be made. Okay, let's go talk to Maria. Hi, good boy. You're getting so big. Oh, oh that's a big man. He is such oh. a sweet, sweet boy. Yes. He has a little bit of rickets, like his mother. He has no rickets. <laughs> yes. Let me, let me wash my face in my mouth. No, he's the best baby ever. He is. He is. He is. He is. He's gorgeous, oh. he's smart, he's an amazing Time. hiker, he knows me and he loves me. He does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's very strong personality, like the mother. Yeah. And like me. What do you want? Look at that. <laughs> and now you're going to the snow. <gasps> the snow? Oh. Oh. Oh, mama, booby, 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 booby. Oh, mama. <laughs> Oh. He knows mommy, he knows his mama, he knows. Yes. Oh, Kupidrina, Kukarina, Kukarina. Come here, come here. Kiss mama. He said no. No. That's the teenage years. Come to mama, Come to mama. <laughs> he comes to mama first. He comes to me because he knows boy. me. Oh, oh he is so gentle, so good. 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 good boy. good boy. He is a good boy. He is a good boy. How are you doing? Don't ask because my tears are gonna <sighs> start crying. How do I do? Well, not very good, but what can I do? Oh, damn it. So, <laughs> I don't think I can well, talk it, about it this. It sucks all around. Yeah, you it's know? extremely difficult. What am I gonna say? Oh, it's so easy, it's not easy. Because damn it, I'm gonna cry. I, I got used to him. Look at him. No. no. It's just but, what do you do when you have, you know, it's like having two children. Well, children, you can get rid of but them. It's also, but <laughs> it's also like, it is two children, but there's also other children affected. Like, I know, you know how, I know, how because everybody's fighting, and not everybody's fighting, everybody it's wants to tense. rule. It's, it's a personality, it's a personality conflict. So, yeah, it's very tough. It's, you know, I had to slowly, slowly, in a way, try to desynthesize myself. I know. You know? What do you do? I mean, I, I, it's hard. Like, there was no other solution to this. No, because I cannot be stay at home for right now. And what do you do? So it's better to be with somebody who can, you know, doesn't have other dogs to fight with and whatnot. Yeah. 
But you know he's going to the best home, and you like Max and Tyler. Like Max and Tyler. And they have a big yard. If I'm gonna go in, he's going. He knows me. He knows me. He knows me. And you can Mom. visit him whenever you want. Just so you know, he's not easy at all. No. And if I knew, if I knew that uh, puppies from the same mom. I know. I, we, we had no know. idea. That's the point. We didn't know. And we, you know. And it's like sometimes there is no way to really make it work. Yeah. I mean, you this, witnessed them fighting. Like, this it's is one of the things. Yeah. Terrifying. Like first time it happened, actually, I was the one, you know, in the, uh, in the yard. And both of them starting fighting. I could not uh, separate them. Yeah. I was like... I didn't know what to do. Like I had bruises on my arms and legs until finally I was separating them and put them, lock the doors. It's so, it, it's so scary. What? What? What's going on? Hi, you look so beautiful. He's gorgeous. He is. He's very strong and beautiful. Like your what mama. What are you looking for? So Daniel's leaving tomorrow morning with him. Yes, we're going on a road trip, you and I. You better be good boy. Mwah. We are, and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. And that'll be on my channel. That'll be a nice happy video mm -hmm. to remedy this. No, even the sad matter. You're gonna have the best life in the cold. I'm gonna do a video soon, actually with all the puppies to check in on how they've been, because it's been six months. They're all six months old, so yeah. I wanna do a check-in and get videos from all the families, so that video should be coming soon, and we'll get a check-in from Shadow in that as well. This has been a very difficult for us to make, but hope you guys understand. He's going to a good place, and yeah. we're gonna keep updates with him, and... <sighs> Shadow, come here, come He's here. like, no, I have this come delicious come bone. Come it ain't gonna work. You, he you, has the like, bone. He has a delicious bone. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, I prefer the bones. Ah, oh, good boy. He gets to mama because he's knee he knows. He knows. <laughs> He's he like knows. getting away. <laughs> he knows. Okay. Well, we're going to end the video here. I love you guys. We'll see you all next time. Good damn. Big! Oh my gosh! Where's your face? Oh, there he is! Ah, oh, he loves me. You want to keep it? In? Yeah. Want to keep it? In? You're coming to mama. It hurts when you eat my hands. Oh, the boys were outside with dad. Hi, buddy. Hey, boys. Are you ready for your first walk with daddy? Bye kids, we're going for a walk. Oh, oh. Don't scratch the Audi, it's new. Get the, get the, get the. Uh -huh. Have a good day at school, kids. Yeah, we're I'll just picking up at 2.30. Bye. Bye. Yeah.